Hey there, travel enthusiasts. Today, I'm taking you on an unforgettable journey to the Gambia, the smallest country in mainland Africa. It's a hidden gem packed with history, culture, and natural beauty. So buckle up and let's get started. Our adventure begins in Banjul, the capital city. First stop, Kunta Kinte Island, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This island played a crucial role in the transatlantic slave trade. Take a boat tour from Banjul and explore the ruins of a fort that once held enslaved Africans. History buffs, this one's for you. Next, we head to Arch 22. This towering landmark commemorates the 1994 military coup and offers stunning panoramic views of the city. Don't forget to snap some photos. After that, let's dive into the vibrant Banjul market. It's a bustling hub where you can find traditional crafts, textiles and produce. Immerse yourself in the local life and maybe pick up a souvenir or two. Before leaving Banjul, don't miss the National Museum of the Gambia. It's a treasure trove of the country's history, culture and diverse ethnic groups. A must visit for a deeper understanding of the Gambia. Ready for some nature? A short drive from Banjul takes us to Abuko Nature Reserve. This wildlife haven is perfect for spotting monkeys, baboons, antelopes, and hundreds of bird species. Nature lovers, you'll feel right at home here. Now let's unwind at Kotu and Kaloli Beach. Kotu Beach is serene and palm-lined, perfect for a relaxing day by the sea. For a bit more action, head to Kaloli Beach, known for its resorts, restaurants, and water sports like jet skiing and parasailing. Don't forget to visit Tanji Fishing Village nearby for a glimpse into local fishing practices. Our next destination is Serakunda, the Gambia's largest town. Explore Serakunda Market, a labyrinth of stalls selling everything from fresh produce to local crafts. Wander through the town to experience traditional dance performances and vibrant street art. No trip to the Gambia is complete without a boat tour on the River Gambia. Spot wildlife like crocodiles, hippos and a variety of birds. You might even visit rural villages and connect with local communities. And if you're up for it, consider a day trip to Senegal. The Sina Saloon Delta offers stunning landscapes and incredible bird watching. Or explore St. Louis, a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its colonial era architecture and cultural scene. Lastly, don't miss out on Gambia's cultural and historical sites. Visit Jufura Village, the birthplace of Kunta Kinte, or shop at the Albert Market in Banjul for traditional textiles and local dishes. And for a true taste of rural life, Spend a day in Gambian villages, where you can learn about farming techniques and enjoy a traditional meal with a local family. Some quick travel tips. The local currency is the Gambian Delasi, but US dollars and euros are widely accepted. English is the official language, and for safety, drink bottled water and use insect repellent. The best time to visit is during the dry season, from November to May. So there you have it. A tour of the Gambia offers a blend of history, culture and natural beauty. Whether you're a history buff, a nature lover, or just looking to relax on a tropical beach, the Gambia has something for everyone. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Until next time, happy travels.